Alrighty guys, welcome back to another tutorial today. Hopefully this shouldn't be as long as the last one. I know that was pretty long and got kind of repetitive at the end. So this one here, I wanted something to be able to show you how to spawn reinforcements with these lovely beauties attached to the vehicles as you spawn them so that you're not pushing them out and it's like super slow. So, very first step we need to do is we need to name these. We need to tag them. So, you at six always have hidden when you're doing reinforcements. I always add player as well. And then you need at least two other tags. Artillery support, whatever you want to name it really. And gun is what I named that one. Do the same thing for the truck. U6, hidden, player, artillery support, or AT support, whatever you want to call it, and truck. I like to name them literally so I know exactly what I'm using so I can keep track of all the tags. Because it can get a little complicated. So, next thing we want to do is go to F9. Make sure you're under F3 mode first and make a new reinforcement. I already added it, but basically make a reinforcement. I'll go on, touch on base on this really quick. Right click add, type in whatever you want, and then it'll make the reinforcement. So we'll just do artillery support, because that's what kind of what it is. State is hidden. Text, whatever you want it to be. I just made one up, just for obviously test purposes. Image. You want that image to be the the type. Uh, excuse me. Type whatever you to show the picture. Basically, you want whatever that exactly says. BL six, BL six. That's what it's supposed to be. Test one. Again, hint whatever just whatever you hover over it. Count negative one. You want it unlimited or not limited, you know, if you only do five, that means you only spawn it five times. Score could be set to whatever. I put it as one for testing purposes. Event start, if you don't have an event yet, that's fine. Just click it, right click, add, and then just add a new, you know, event. And there it is. Start, and then waypoint two, whatever you want it to be. I just hid that over there, but there's waypoint two. Yeah. Hit OK, and you're done. Now, you need three waypoints. One for the cannon, one for the truck, and then one for the generic reinforcement spawn point. So, for the cannon, I... So then for each waypoint, you have a command. So for the cannon, you right-click, add, Entity state, which is under, oops, excuse me, I stopped clicking that, under entity, entity state. All right, double click on it, tag add, you're going to freehand this as gun one, or whatever you want to name it, it just can't be a tag that's already been assigned, and tag remove. So it gives the tag gun one and removes the tag gun. It'll make sense when you're in the triggers. So we're done with that. Do the same with the truck. Entity state. Click on that. Truck one. Truck. Same thing. Tag add. Freehand truck one or whatever you want to name it. Tag remove truck. And then one more thing. Command for the actual way, waypoint for the reinforcement. You want to go right click add. Go to other. Oops. Go to Actor and choose Action. From the drop down menu, find Detach, click that, and then make sure the waypoint is the same waypoint that you clicked on as waypoint 2. So that tells it to detach once it gets there. You don't have to put that if you don't want to, I just like it because it looks kind of nice. Alright. You can even set it so you can have them drive away too if you want, but it gets a little tricky and sometimes this doesn't always work. 
All right. And for zone, ignore these. So you just want play area as your zone. So play area, basically, you create a zone, new poly, so you can choose exactly where. Try to put it, I put it like smack dab in the middle and stretch it all the way out for the entire play, play area. It makes sense uh, after this, but just know that's what you do for that. So, and then you could make the trigger for that. I named it AI, it can be named whatever. So for the trigger, for event, right click, find the event, there it is. And then choose mode work. And if you don't have an event, just click add and just add that event. De so under commands, you want to do delay, right click, add, find delay. 60 seconds, right click, add, find actor state. There it is. AI move enabled. You can choose whatever you want on this one, to be honest. But for the selector, you got to choose advanced. Right click, add group. Underneath include, you or on it, include, excuse me, right click and add prop. Then right click and add tag. Right click, then add zone. And under exclude, Right click, add player, right click, add player. So for prop, you want to add as human. For the tag, as player. And as zone, as play area. Exclude, now you can actually have a million of these because depending on how many players you have in your game. Uh, I, so I just chose player zero and player one. Hit OK done with that one. Then on right click, add trigger. Boom. Choose. Now the trigger has to be chosen as the same. It just basically it's telling it to stop. So you want to make sure you have selected whatever the trigger's name up top here. It matches this. AI, AI. All right. And we need to make sure you can actually spawn the reinforcements. So you want to show reinforcements. So just right click, add whatever name you want to add a new trigger. Go down to commands. Right click. Then go to other. Find reinforcement. And choose, make sure it says show. And then choose the name whatever name you have it named under reinforcements. Artillery support is for mine. All right. Now the quick and easy stuff is done. Let's get on to the actual triggers here. So, the big kahuna trigger for artillery. So you want to choose under make a new trigger, of course. Right click, add, name it, whatever. So under condition, you want to make sure it's right click event. Then choose the make sure it says work and make sure the ID is the ID name of the event or the reinforcement, which is artillery support in my case. OK, now for the commands here. So you want to right click, add, find delay. Once you find delay, add 10 seconds to that. Right click again, add event. Add event. Choose artillery support. Make sure it's reset and make sure the delay is zero. Next, you want to do right click, add waypoint. don't have to get fancy so who is actor tag you need to make sure it's truck action start at waypoint one 
or whichever one it is, as long as it's whatever you know where that waypoint is. Clone it, make sure that's checkmarked, and approach, teleport, and rotate. Right click again and add waypoint. This one's for the gun, so I chose tag as a gun. Action start, my waypoint in this case was zero. Clone, teleport, and rotate. Now, you can use, now it's, since it's just a delay, I usually just, if once I already have it, just copy it instead of right click add every time. So it's right click on a delay, copy, and then just change that delay to 1 instead of 10. Right click, add, actor, action. Now, for under action, you want the selector, the top selector, as tag truck 1. You'll have to freehand it because it's not been assigned yet. Action, choose attach. And then the target, freehand, gun one, or whatever you named it. Hit OK. Don't have to put the waypoint on there because, well, you really don't have a waypoint yet. Copy or right click, add, delay. Two seconds. Right click, cop or copy, waypoint choose t under actors make sure it's who is actor then under actors tag truck one action start waypoint two do not clone make sure it's check marked as make squad you don't have to name the squad and don't put an approach right click add actor state selector tag now this is when the third tag goes into play I chose artillery support then you just kinda choose whatever you want except for this first one needs to say AI so make sure control is AI and then after that whatever you want is the artillery state actor state sorry Right click copy or right click add delay, 14.9 seconds. Then copy or right click add actor state. Choose artillery support again under selector. And this time make sure the control is user and then whatever you want after that. Right click copy or right click delay. Right click add delay, I should say and make sure it's 0.1 second right click add event and choose AI move or whatever move you named it for that one previous trigger I showed you now right click add and you want to find auto assign which it's under other auto assign Make sure, so under selector, you want advanced, right click group, under include, right click, add tag, tag, and make sure the tag is artillery support or whatever that other one it is, as long as it's, you know, not gun or gun one or tag or truck, truck one or whatever you named it. Right click under exclude and find state and choose inactive almost done copy right click add delay one second now under now you right click again add entity state find that entity state do your advanced group again so right click group under include right click that or on include I should say add tag choose artillery support again 
right click exclude, add state, and choose an active. Under tag remove for entity state, have it remove artillery support, or the other name you named it. Then you can either right click copy entity state or right click add entity state. This time, under selector, choose advanced again, right click group. Under include, right click tag. Choose, you won't be able to choose it, so you have to freehand again. This will be for the gun, so, or artillery. So I just chose gun one, typed it in. State, right click and exclude, and choose state, inactive. And under tag remove, you'll need to freehand gun one, or whatever you named it. Entity state, again, so either right click add, or right click copy, Entity state, tag remove, just choose truck, type in truck one. Under selector, you want advanced. Right click again, group. Right click include and choose tag. Then right click exclude and choose state. Tag would be truck one, so you have to type that in and state find inactive. Almost done here. So then right click right click copy, right click add, delay one second, right click add trigger, choose your the same name, so artillery, artillery right up there. And Make sure on's not checked. And that's all you have to do. Now you just test it out by hit start. And it's going a little crazy right now. But. So then let's choose test. And there it is. Should be coming in a second here. There it is. And I might have put it out too far. It's recommended you have a better delay too. Whoops. I did put that out too far. Try that again. I was trying to show it to attach. And it crashed. But as you can tell, it works.